G'day, g'day, g'day from down under. My name's Bev. I'm from Rescue, Recycle, Reuse for those who don't know me. And I'm going to show you something that I um, experimented well and I saw it came on my on my feed on Facebook or something the other night and I thought hey this looks really good I'm gonna give it a go so I'm here to show you something and some of you may have seen of it some of you may not but it's a fun little thing to try out now what I'm gonna do so what I'm working on I can stand up cuz is one of these little Ikea step stools okay so and I'm working on the, the cute little feather decoupage paper here and what I saw someone do and they were doing it on craft things was they were using plastic you need a hot iron set to linen with no um, no steam so this is just the plastic that was covering um, the stool when it came in the flat pack so I'm gonna try using this now the idea is that you cut it to pretty much the same size as the piece of paper you're going to be using. So it doesn't have to be exact, but you do want it. You don't want it smaller. I'm going to turn that down. You want it, yeah, you definitely don't want it smaller because you want it going all the way to the edges. When I did the one below, I did it just slightly bigger and I just sanded off any edges that I needed to. So I'm going to cut this along here with my trusty sharp scissors so I'm gonna take out a fresh sheet so this is the feathers one the Dixie Bell Bells and Wessels feathers um, decoupage paper so hopefully this covers most of it otherwise I'll make it up a fair bit so there you go it's gonna cover most of it and then now yeah, I want to make sure again that my plastic is covering everywhere here if it didn't cover the whole piece, then I just cut another little piece to fit over it. And this one's going to go here somewhere. Just hang over the edge slightly because I'm going to sand that off later. Right. I just want to make sure it's fairly straight, you know, straight as far as the eye goes anyway. hard doing things up high it's really hard doing things up high because you can't can't see as well as normally I'd probably do it on the floor but once we've got this bit done so I'm just looking to make sure it's fairly straight right I think it's pretty good now I've got myself a piece of grease proof paper I'm going to put this over the top and hot iron let's give this a good as you go now basically what it's doing is it's going through and it's melting the plastic underneath it and melting it to the decoupage paper so it's sort of like doing the iron on method but with plastic now you do have to really let the heat go through a fan so it's on the highest there's no steam happening on it and I'm just gonna hold it and then keep sort of moving it slowly and what I did do is come back afterwards and pay very special attention to the edges there you like this idea it is sort of cool and it was really I was really happy with the finish of it For anyone who has trouble, you know, like using, um, you know, the uh, top coats and things as the, to stick it on with it bubbling and things, this is a really good way to start it off. You know, it's, it came out really, really easy. Now, I, like I said, I am still top coating it with the Dixie Bell Gator Hide. I'm using Gator Hide for a couple of reasons. Yeah, it does. It, it sort of acts like a glue. Yeah. 
you still need to you still need to seal it so you know you want to use your your um your gator hide because you it's it's going to need to be sealed and on something like this i'm using gator hide because it's going to get a lot of wear and tear so you want to use gator hide on the step look how so can you see how super smooth that is You've got all the lovely texture. I'm gonna to have to come back with my sharp knife and cut that little handle out there and seal that. But it's really taunt. Feel that, feel that. If I was trying to lift it now, it would obviously lift. It's still really hot, it's still really warm. But I'm gonna match up this piece here. I'm gonna put another piece of plastic along here and put the other bit on. the plastic has shrunk up or something on the edge like it did earlier you can just cut a little piece so say I had a gap there like this I can just I had it fairly not you know not overlapping a lot but I think it sort of shrinks up it's still a bit warm here but this side's dry, or cool I should say. So you wanna wait for it to cool. And then you just work on it the same as you do with your normal decoupage. I just like to take a sanding sponge or a block. I like to go that way first, just to sort of make a bit of a crease. Um, slight if some parts you know maybe your, your wrap has sort of like um, you know shrunk a bit or it hasn't covered a little bit or anything like that when you're doing your gator hide if you get any little bubbles just let that gator hide dry put your wrap your um, what do you call it grease proof paper back over the top and then just iron it again and that will just iron it back in and flatten everything out and let it dry stool I'm gonna cut in around here I could do it two ways I guess I could go in from the bottom here or from the top I think I'm gonna go from the top because when you poke in from the bottom you get the messy side I would get the messy side on top whereas if I go this way I'm gonna have a cleaner line around there. So guys, if you enjoyed this, or if you found this useful, can you pop something in the comments or put hashtag replay if you're watching it on the replay? we'd love to know if this was useful for you and I'd love to see anyone who's tried it and what they thought like I said it's only the second this is the only second time I've done it on here um, so I'm just giving you my tips and things that I think I've found but play around with it and see how you guys go with it um, I think it's a cool little idea. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And then like I said, I'm gonna put some, you know, you would put your top coat on it still. And um, if you have a top coat bubble, you know, if you get any bubbling in the paper from the top coat, just wait till that dries, put your parchment paper back over the top and just put some heat again. And then that'll just flatten it all out and it'll dry nice and flat. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you guys are in Australia, um, do you think it's, I think, I think it's, you don't have to wait for the top coat to dry. I don't know whether it's thicker. I think it might be easier for some people because I think some people really struggle with the top coat and, um, you know, being able to reposition things or, or, you know, when you're actually gluing them down. So I just think it's another option. 
that you can try, that people can try. And maybe they haven't got, you know, a lot of top coat left or anything. So yeah, it's just another option you can try. Anyway, if you guys uh, are on the Sunshine Coast, I'm an elite retailer up there at your Monday Square. Pop in and say hi. And um, thanks for watching. I will see you again here next Wednesday and um, I'll find something else for you then. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you then. Have a great week. Bye.